You know, I'm starting to think that these blog posts and Clash of Clans on Builderbase 2.0 each month is kind of like our sneak peeks or something. Huh? What do you guys think? What's going on, my friends? My name is Joe. Welcome back to the show. And today we're going to dive into the blog post titled Builderbase 2.0, Staying Small and Going Deeper. And we're also going to point out a lot of the things that were revealed within that alpha footage because there was like Builder Hall level 10. There was also the Autos Alpha. Post, I mean, crazy stuff. A lot of stuff revealed in this thing. So, when we jump into the post, we got another one here from Stuart, and he's basically starting out with one of the biggest problems we've heard in the current builder base is that it feels less fun as you upgrade through the later builder halls. Early on, players really enjoy the focused, tactical, fun feeling of the builder base. And when we jump down a few lines, it also says, unfortunately, as bases get bigger and bigger, this feeling is lost in the late game and gets really hard to play smartly and tactically so essentially what he's actually saying here is that bases like my builders hall level five on my rushed account is more fun for a lot of players opposed to the one that i have on my main account which is the builder hall level nine but when we jump back into our blog post things are going to stay pretty much as is for builders halls level one through level five from builder hall six and beyond we're going to add some more or depth. You'll have a second buildable area. It has its own key building, Otto's Outpost, and your buildings will be split across the two stages. Your builder base is still one connected space and you can swipe back and forth between stages. Master Builder and Otto can work on upgrades anywhere. They're not limited to being only able to upgrade things in the stage where their buildings are located. So this makes more sense why the Otto will be available at Builder Hall Level 6 like we discovered in our last blog post. Non-defenses like Clock Tower can only be placed in certain stage or for buildings like gold storages where there are multiple, you are only able to place a certain number in the first stage and the rest in the second. For defenses, you'll be able to swap defenses back and forth between stages. There's a bit looser quota system. This will open up a lot of interesting base design potential. So ideally what they're trying to get away from is those common base designs that we see right now at Builder Hall Level 9 where we have all of our buildings all grouped up together and we just spam troops in there and hope for the best that we either get a two star or we manage to out percentage our opponent. They also give us some insight to how attacking is going to work on the multiple stage builder bases. Now keep in mind in our last blog post they mentioned the loot system and how that was going to change. Gold would be rewarded by how well you attack and elixir would be rewarded by how well your base defends or in this case two bases defend. When you match against an opponent's base, you can only see the first stage. You have to pick an army and a plan of attack that will be able to wipe out this stage. If you get the three stars in the first stage, great, but you're only halfway done. The troops who survived in the first stage move back to your deployment bar and will receive some healing. You'll also receive one or two extra camps of troops as reinforcements depending on your builder hall level. Now, when we jump to the second stage, as it says, you'll then see the opponent's second stage. You can swap your reinforcement camps or any unused camp of troops from the initial army to be whatever troop needed. Having to think about keeping as many troops as possible alive in the first stage adds a really interesting interesting element. In the second stage, you can earn an additional three stars, one for destroying Otto's outpost, one for crossing 150% destruction, and one for reaching 200% destruction, which is actually completely different than anything we've ever seen before. They also included a video of all of this stuff. So when we jump into this footage, there is a black screen that will start out by saying alpha footage of multi-stage builder-based layout editing. Now there's a very important word to note here. The term alpha in game development means very early game version, okay? So this is not in beta. This is not a final product by any means. And there's probably gonna be a lot of placeholders in artwork or something like that that I probably saw. And we're gonna point those out as we go through this. Now it's gonna go into stage one, starting out with what appears to be 
Builder Hall Level 10. That should be the new artwork concept for Builder Hall Level 10, and this can be determined by the Roman numeral X on the Star Laboratory. Also notice the new level of walls, the new levels of cannons, archer towers, crusher, as well as the guard post and the traps. There's also an expo on this base, and there is not one at Builder Hall Level 9. So that possibly could be something coming to Builder Base. And notice the new level on the barracks. There's more than likely a new troop coming to Builder Base. But I want you to really take note of the Battle Machine Altar. First things first, the Battle Machine has what appears to be a three-dimensional design, which could potentially mean skins for the Battle Machine in the future, but who really knows? But also notice that that altar is on stage one. They also reveal the ranking system or the league system for builder base in the upper left corner. And there's also a number seven on the attack button, which could mean seven stars collected to finish your attacks for the day. But we really don't know until this thing is actually revealed more to us. Now we're gonna go over to the other side, which is stage two. And you're gonna notice from the start, the autos outpost, a brand new building for the builder base. Also notice the second altar, the, the battle machine altar there that has a dragon rider on top of it. Obviously, more than likely not a new hero, at least the dragon rider, but the altar does signify that there's more than likely going to be two heroes for the builder base. Also notice the new levels for the Mega Tesla, the lava launcher, the multi mortar, the roaster, but we're gonna go ahead and watch them move a army camp over to stage one. That reminds me, there are eight army camps between those two stages if you missed that. Now we're gonna go into a demonstration of the multi-stage attacking, which is by the game developer Petri. Now when we proceed into the attack, you're gonna notice the troops available. The battle machine has level 35 and all the troops are now level 20. Now we have uh, what appears to be an exchange of troops, just like we have in the current version of the builder base. And we're gonna start out with a cannon cart, but a, an ability that turns it into a mortar that's crazy right and it looks like the attacker is able to control this it rolls the cannon card in it attacks a building and then pre-places into a mortar notice the range is on the mortar that's able to touch multiple buildings now we need to speed this up just a little bit watch the barracks get destroyed and then also notice the mall uh, the double cannon get destroyed and then watch the mortar when the double cannon goes down there are no buildings within range turning into a question mark above the mortar, meaning that the cannon cart now needs to move. The battle machine's attacking. We have super P.E.K.K.A.s moving. We also have a boxer giant, and there's a bar above their HP, meaning that they all have potential abilities, and we're gonna get to see a few of those in the next section of the attack. We're gonna go ahead and speed this up to the end. As the troops go after the final Tesla, you're gonna watch the troops that survive be lifted off the base, and they should go back to the deployment bar. Now, we're gonna jump over to stage two, which is the auto outpost section. Watch the army as the attacker exchanges the troops available. So we have what was uh, Rage Barbarians, Baby Dragon. The last one's being changed out for the bomber. The Baby Dragon's gonna be changed to Rage Barbarians. And then the attack is going to start out with the cannon cart slash mortar first, down on the bottom, and then one up top. The guard post troops are going to attack the mortar, and then the Rage Barbarians are gonna be dropped to clear that. But that's not necessarily the only thing that gets revealed here. We're gonna go ahead and skip ahead and wait for that battle machine to be dropped. There it is. And watch the bomber. The bomber is going to release and throw the bomb into the base, destroying multiple layers of wall as it goes. Watch that boxer giant. The boxer giant's ability appears. Hold on, wait for it. It's coming. There it goes. It appears to be a brief moment of invincibility, allowing the boxer giant to tank longer against that new level of giant cannon. It's going to stay alive a little bit longer, but then watch the guard post. As the guard post gets taken out by the cannon, zappies, 
We got five zappies that are going to populate in its place. Those are from Clash Royale. I haven't seen those in quite some time, but those are entirely new to Builder Base 2.0. And then obviously the 200%. Then it finishes out by saying, see you in the next blog post. Now, some of you might be asking, when's the update? Now I'm going to probably say May.